Welcome to our latest episode, Foundations, the smart way to invest in UAE real estate. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about how investing in UAE real estate through a foundation will not only provide you asset protection and privacy, but will ensure that upon your death, your estate is distributed in accordance with your wishes rather than according to Sharia law. Welcome to the Wealth Uncensored Podcast, straight talk about everything that impacts your wealth. In each episode, I share what I've learned through my own experience and two decades of helping high net worth clients structure their affairs to minimize taxes and protect their assets for the next generation. I'll also feature special guests who are experts in their own field, sharing their knowledge and experience to help you protect what's yours. I'm your host, Jimmy Sexton. Let's dive into today's show. Everyone knows that Dubai is the place to be. It's growing by leaps and bounds and because, well, it's awesome. I've been here eight years and it keeps getting better every year. It offers tax advantage living, a low corporate income tax rate. It has a favorable business environment, favorable business laws, and the government is dedicated to growth and making a better place to live. Also, it's safe, it has great healthcare, and an unbelievable variety of restaurants and entertainment. It's like Disneyland for adults with money. So it's no wonder that the real estate market is booming here. Real estate prices and rents are soaring as new residents and investors pour money into UAE real estates. Most of these folks purchase the real estate in their individual names. This is something I advise against. Purchasing in your own name has the advantage of being simple and straightforward, but it does have some serious drawbacks. Investing individually offers zero asset protection or privacy, and it gives you no estate planning or probate protection. Investing through a foundation solves these problems and offers additional benefits as well. First, a foundation offers asset protection. If you get sued and your real estate is owned in your own name, you're at risk of losing it whether or not the lawsuit has anything to do with that real estate. Because if you get sued and you lose, anything you own personally is at risk, which would include potentially your UAE real estate. When your real estate is owned through a foundation, it's not yours. It belongs to the foundation. Creditors and litigants can't take foundation assets to settle your obligations. Also, a foundation offers privacy, which is a key component of asset protection. Because the first thing somebody's gonna do if they're thinking about suing you is to research what assets you own to see if you have anything they can take. If you don't have anything to take, they're likely not to sue you because what are they gonna get? There's no value in suing you. And even if they did sue you, they can't take what you don't have. Remember, the UAE real estate would belong to your foundation and not you. One of the most important things that a foundation provides, however, is estate planning and probate protection. So if you die owning UAE real estate individually and you don't have a will, your UAE real estate will have to go through probate in order to have it transferred to the names of your heirs. This in and of itself can be a lengthy and costly process. Additionally, if you don't have a will, your UAE real estate will be distributed in accordance with the UAE's estate distribution laws, which are based on Sharia law. Most expats don't want their real estate or their assets distributed according to Sharia law because they want it distributed according to their wishes, which is possible with a will or a foundation, but the foundation's better. And I'll tell you why. Because a foundation solves this problem because the foundation owns the real estate, not you. When you die, nothing happens. The asset is still owned by the foundation unless you dictate otherwise in the foundation's governing documents because it's the foundation's governing documents that specify what, if anything, is to happen with its assets upon your death. Some people want assets to be distributed from the foundation to their heirs upon death. In this case, the foundation's governing documents would say, when the founder dies, distribute the assets equally to his four kids, foundation closes, game over. But most people prefer that the foundation continue. They would have the real estate continue to be owned by the foundation and have the profits from the real estate reinvested or distributed to the beneficiaries. And because the foundation can be structured to be multi-generational, each new generation can become a beneficiary of the foundation and benefit from it. This way, the foundation owns the real estate 
And so that real estate gets all the benefits of the foundation, the asset protection, the privacy, and, and tax benefits for generations to come. And you can put other assets in the foundation as well, assets anywhere in the world, and get the same benefits as your UAE real estate would get. Now, an often overlooked advantage of a foundation, but it is a big advantage, is the ability to have third parties on the board of counselors. And this is especially important for non-resident investors in UAE real estate. Because if you own UAE real estate individually and don't live here, who has the right to manage your real estate and, and make decisions on your behalf with respect to the real estate? Who are you gonna empower to do this? And how are you gonna empower to do it? You're gonna give them a POA? You're gonna make them a signer on your bank account? This can be a little bit complicated to effectively grant someone authority to be able to manage things on your behalf. With a foundation, you simply put them on the board and then they have the authority to act on behalf of the foundation which owns the real estate and so they can do everything necessary to manage the real estate including sell it if you want to. And so this makes managing your UAE real estate from afar really easy. A lot of people then have the concern, well if this person's on the board, how hard is it to get them off the board if I no longer want them managing the real estate or the foundation's affairs? Well, it's really easy to draft your foundation's governing documents in such a way that it's really easy for you to swap out board members whenever you want or to appoint an additional board member if you want. And finally, a foundation will allow you to maintain control of the real estate as long as its governing documents are properly drafted. So a lot of people worry, if I don't own it individually, I'm not gonna have control of my real estate. But that's not true because you can draft the foundation's governing documents in such a way that you can maintain control and get all the other benefits that we just talked about. So to recap, investing in UAE real estate individually Individually, like investing in real estate anywhere individually, has significant risk, right? You get no asset protection, you get no privacy, you get no probate protection, and you get no estate planning benefits. And you don't want to risk your assets being distributed according to Sharia law if you don't want to. These risks are all solved by owning your UAE real estate through a foundation. To learn more about foundations, check out my Trusts and Foundations Guide. I put a download link in the description. I hope you found this episode useful. Thank you for joining me on Wealth Uncensored, where we help you minimize taxes and protect your wealth for the next generation. If you like our show, be sure to subscribe and leave a review. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, we'd love to hear from you. You can email us at info at esquiregroup.com. And don't forget to visit Esquire Group's website for more information on how we can help you secure your wealth. I'll be dropping knowledge again next week. Don't forget to join us.